Welcome back to the Infinite Woman Universe Show. I am so excited to have you back for this week's show. In case you're new here, I'm Angela and I am your host for this week's Universe Show where we're going to talk about how to overcome resistance, which is a huge topic for women um, achieving their dreams. How do you know if it's resistance? Is it self-sabotage? Is it all of these things? But I first, I am so excited that you're here. I'm so grateful that you're here. I know that you could be watching other videos and spending your time with someone else. And so I really appreciate you being here. I'm actually really excited about today's topic because I was just talking about it last week, but also I feel like this isn't talked about enough. And so I think that this is perfect for this week's universe show. Before we get in to the show, I was seriously in doctor's appointments all day long. So this is how we decided to show up today, but I know that you're already cool with it because you know, this is how things go sometimes. Okay, let's get into talking about resistance. So if you struggle with procrastination, with hesitation and distraction, you probably think, oh, well, it's just self-sabotage. I'm just, you know, I'm just not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, especially when you're procrastinating, right? Because you ultimately procrastinate with hesitation and with distraction, right? Hesitation on not sure which thing you're going to do next or distraction with the one and only right social media your phone playing games whatever else is on here so but the thing is is you need to decide whether or not you're actually in resistance most people are actually in resistance to the work that they should be doing most people do not want to do the work that they should be doing and this is when you need to make sure a few things number one that you are actually in alignment that you're actually feeling good before you go into work i know that so many people have it oh well i need to just work and then i can do whatever i want the truth is is that you want to have the energy behind you if you don't have the energy behind you then you're going to be in resistance all the time like no matter what it doesn't even matter what you should be doing right you're just going to be in resistance and i will actually leave a video for you um here so that you can check out how to come into alignment alignment is going to be a huge piece to this if you are not in alignment if you're not feeling good if you hate your work if you hate your job then this is a huge problem and you need to figure out what it is that you truly want to do what's really your passion what's really your purpose what's really your life's work and actually a really good way to figure that out is gene keys you can go to genekeys.com and pull your chart and kind of figure that out um, if you need help uh, reading your chart reach out to me i know how to do that i work with my clients on doing that so you want to first make sure that you are completely in alignment. Now, let's say that, you know, you're in a job that you hate. There's no way around it or whatever. Then you might want to skip this video because this isn't going to be for you. If you're and I and I don't want to like act like I don't know what it's like to be in your position. I 100 percent do. If you really feel like you don't have a choice, I respect that and understand that. But this is going to be specifically driven for women who have one either left their job and they're trying to navigate finding a new one or women who are building businesses and empires and wanting to really go that route okay because i want to make that clear because when you are in a job altogether whether or not you like your job if you are in a job altogether um you know there are certain things that you can and cannot do and that's just the reality of it and that kind of sucks and i'm sorry but you know you have to decide if working for somebody else is truly in alignment for you or if it's something that you have to do at this time now you can still apply some of these definitely uh you know you do want to feel good before you go to work that's why self-care matters um, and you want to make sure that you're in alignment and you know you can you know you can do all of those things 
you can do those things and you can apply that for sure. But this is more directed for women who are building empires and going that direction. And you want to make sure that number one, you're in alignment, that number two, you're not going to be in alignment. You're not going to feel good most of the time if you've not healed your trauma or conditioning. There's just no way around it. You won't even know what alignment is. You won't even know if it's real. You'll be waiting for the other foot to drop. So first and foremost, you want to make sure that you are healing your trauma. It, I know that that sounds crazy, but it impacts everything that you do in your life, everything that you don't do in your life. So you need to uh, definitely work on that. I have helped so many women heal from their trauma, release their past conditioning so that they can let go of fears and doubts and self-sabotage and come into their own and live life on their terms. If you would like to work with someone one-to-one, -one, I am available to work with one-to-one. -one. So you want to make sure first and foremost that you're in alignment, that you've healed all your trauma and conditioning. I talk about this in like every episode because this will allow you to really fall into place with these journaling prompts that are going to help you release resistance. And if you are in alignment, it essentially allows you to flow in your work and release resistance. And it takes way less time to do everything. Again, this is why alignment is so critical to your work. Okay. And now these, these journal prompts are going to help you release this resistance so that you can really do the things that you're attempting to do. And I want you to know before we get into this, there's a huge difference between should do's and want to's, right? I want you to be aware of that. We really do believe that we have to function on should do's. And sure, there are going to be some things, right? Not everybody wants to do laundry and dishes and all of that. And I get that 100%. But there's a way to make that fun. There's a way to work around that. And I get that. You're going to have to do those things. But when you are in alignment, you don't really have to feel that way. Okay? You don't have to. This is why, again, I'm probably going to say this a million times. A million times. Alignment is a very huge piece to this. A huge piece to this. Okay, the first the first journaling question that will help you come out of resistance is what does your soul need right now? How often are you checking in? If you are constantly hesitating, procrastinating and distracting yourself, there's probably something that you truly need from yourself that you are not giving to yourself. And this is so important. Ask yourself, what does your soul need? The second one is, what would you rather do or create right now? Let's be honest. If you're in resistance, it's probably because there is something that you'd rather be doing, something that you'd rather be creating. And what is that? Tap in. What are you truly being called to to create and do right now? And what's stopping you from doing that right now? Ultimately, I mean, what is? Is it because you believe you should be doing these things? Is it because someone told you that there's a blueprint for success, even though we all know that's not true, right? Are you trying to fit yourself into this mold? You want to decide that and really remove all the excuses from doing this specific thing. And the third one is, is there something that excites you that you've been putting off why have you put it off and why can't you execute on this now? You have to tap in, okay? You have to tap in and decide. But let's say that you do tap in and you still are struggling with resistance, right? You've, you've given yourself what your soul needs. You're doing what excites you. You are um, creating what you truly want and you're still struggling with hesitation and procrastination and distraction. This is how you know then that it's actually self-sabotage. And this is because there's this something deep down in you that doesn't feel safe doing what it is that you're doing or becoming the person that you are becoming. And this is critical to be aware of because self-sabotage is seriously like setting fire to your own house that you have burnt, that you have built yourself, right? So you want to be, you want to make sure that you are aware of this because self-sabotage is the ultimate form and destruction, right? 
and so you can actually heal this i will leave the video for you here but there is also still spaces available to run beta testing program i believe i think i might let it run one more time or one more week and then that will be it for the spaces available so if you are interested in slaying self-sabotage so that you never have to deal with uh, with procrastination and hesitation and distraction. You allow yourself to feel safe. You don't deal with imposter syndrome and you just execute and show up in big ways. This is for you. There is a special price going on for the beta testing and I promise you want to get in on this action now because after the beta program, it will be a huge increase in the price and it's going to be absolutely worth it. I promise you on that. So make sure you check out the link below. Okay, so since we've already gone through the journal prompts and we're gonna go ahead and you, oh yeah, if you need a journal and if you need a tool pen, make sure you check it out in the description below. You already know what's up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this away and get into this activation, if you're here, let me know that you're here. Um, you know, you can say activation. I would love to hear about how your week goes with checking in with yourself, checking in with your soul, doing what excites you first. Like, I would love to hear about that. Leave how your week went in the comments. That's your homework. Um, if you have any questions about self-sabotage slayer, if you have any questions about how to connect with me and work with me one-to-one, -one, you can always leave them in the comments. I love when you leave me comments. It's so much fun. And also, if you're here and you haven't already, make sure that you like and subscribe and share. Why not? Okay, okay I'm going to scoot a little bit closer because my voice gets a little bit low. In today's activation, it is going to be all about tapping in and being aware so that you can just easily move through resistance and come into alignment that's what we're going to do okay that's going to be our intention all right please do not listen to this guided meditation slash activation while you're driving while you're uh, uh, i don't even can't even talk while you're operating um heavy equipment please make sure that you're in a safe and comfortable environment because it's better for all of us right and i want you to be safe Okay, go ahead and get really juicy and comfortable. And, and if you're in a rolly chair, <laughs> try to get stable. All right, here we go. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Go ahead and take another deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Just sinking into where you're at, allowing yourself to come into relaxation. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Feeling totally and completely relaxed. And I want you to start at the crown of your head and I want you to just let go and melt away any stress, anxiety, fears, doubts, thoughts, anything that's unserving for you right now. And if you need it later, you're more than welcome to pick it up, but I doubt you're going to need it. And just let that melt over you. Just let it all melt away. Down your forehead. Just let all the stress and thoughts and worries melt away down your throat down your shoulders your arms your chest just let all the stress and worries melt away all the fears and anxiety just melt away down your stomach down your pelvis down your hips just let it all melt away. Down your hips and thighs, knees, shins, ankles, feet, toes. Just let it all melt into Mother Earth. Just 
And I want you to imagine with your mind's eye, which is just between your eyebrows, I want you to imagine this big, beautiful lake. The weather is perfect. The sky is amazingly blue. The water is crystal clear and just has that sense of peace and calming come over you. And you're on this beach area. The weather is the perfect temperature. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. The sun is brightly shining. And you feel safe, protected, and welcomed here. And you just walk along the beach area. And you look out to the water. You can just feel yourself feeling at peace. There's no worries of schedules or should do's or have to's or task or list. No appointments, no worries, just you in the water. And as you walk along the beach area, you want to get into the lake, but you hesitate. And you don't know why you're hesitating, you just hesitate. And a couple of more times you try to go into the water, but you hesitate. It's like there's a glass wall keeping you from the water. And rather than getting frustrated and beating yourself up, you sit down in the sand, in the beach area. And you lie down. And you can feel presence in your body. Like you're fully and completely in your body. feels good to be here. You feel content, relaxed, totally surrendered. And as you allow yourself to just be totally and completely present, you stand up And without overthinking, without worrying that you can't make it in or doubting yourself, you just walk this time, totally and completely in your body, totally and completely present, totally and completely aligned. This time you're able to take a step into the water. The water feels so good. And you just get in it about ankle deep maybe a little bit further. And you play and splash. And you can feel this joy and playfulness come over you. This ultimate form of alignment, bliss, happiness. And you just play here. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks of you because there's no one there. It doesn't matter how you're playing because you're safe. You can't be touched here. It's just you and the water and the beach. Maybe you spin around and dance and kick and play. Do whatever feels good for you. And you can start to feel this present, this being, being totally activated within your heart, 
your mind and your body and your soul. When you keep this laughter and playfulness in your heart, and you keep this joy and bliss activated, knowing that you are responsible for how happy you feel and that you can come here anytime you like. And you slowly turn off this picture and you come back down into the earth down into the room, down into your body. You can flutter your eyes open when you're ready. All right, how was that activation for you? I would love to know in the comments, leave them. What did you experience? What came up for you? How was your week? I would love, love to hear from you. If you are interested in self-sabotage layer, make sure you check out the description. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all of the things. And I want to thank you so much for being here again. I love and appreciate you, and I will see you next time. Bye.